and we have no idea what happened before it. And we're still expanding, as we will forever. For the past five decades, Voyager 1 has embarked on an extraordinary journey through the cosmos, continuously delivering unprecedented insights and discoveries. Each revelation seemed so astounding that it appeared nearly impossible until scientists meticulously analyzed the data confirming the authenticity of these groundbreaking findings. Now, the spacecraft has transmitted yet another perplexing piece of information, validated by none other than Neil deGrasse Tyson himself. Join us as we delve into the profound implications of Voyager's latest message and explore how it might reshape our perceptions of the cosmos forever. Engineers implement adaptive power management strategies that respond to the spacecraft's evolving environmental conditions. As Voyager 1 journeys farther from the Sun, the available solar energy diminishes. To compensate for this, the spacecraft adjusts its power usage accordingly. This adaptive approach ensures that available power resources are allocated efficiently to support crucial operations and data transmission. Furthermore, ongoing technical advancements and enhancements in power management techniques have enabled engineers to refine and optimize the power systems of the Voyager probes over the years. These improvements encompass more efficient power distribution, enhanced battery charging methods, and advancements in power regulation and control. Through these methodical power management strategies, engineers have successfully extended the operational lifespan of Voyager 1, enabling it to continue its remarkable scientific exploration through the depths of space. The careful allocation and conservation of power resources ensure that critical systems remain operational allowing the spacecraft to transmit valuable data and insights back to Earth, even though it was initially designed for a mere five-year mission. This accomplishment is a testament to the dedicated efforts and expertise of the scientists and engineers who have worked diligently to keep the Voyager mission alive in deep space. However, it's important to acknowledge that unexpected events can still occur in the vastness of outer space. Deep space is known for its unpredictability, but even so, we do possess some level of understanding regarding the potential scenarios and challenges we may encounter. Anomaly One would naturally anticipate that a spacecraft like Voyager, during its journey through the cosmos, would primarily encounter celestial objects such as meteoroids, asteroids, and other spaceborne entities. However, the receipt of messages from Voyager 1 indicating the detection of a staggering 500 objects marked a profoundly unusual turn of events. This unforeseen development was promptly classified as an anomaly due to the signal's abrupt and unanticipated arrival, presenting the research team with a perplexing enigma. While the anomaly introduced a slight communication delay, Voyager 1 continued to exhibit its characteristic responsiveness to commands from the dedicated team at Mission Control. Notably, the spacecraft's reliable antenna remained directed towards Earth thereby ensuring the effective reception and execution of instructions. While scientists grappled with the confounding data, Voyager 1 itself appeared to dutifully adhere to its expected operational behavior. Diligently gathering and transmitting valuable scientific information, it's worth highlighting that this anomaly failed to activate any of the onboard fault protection systems, explicitly designed to spring into action upon detecting irregularities. These systems, typically responsible for placing the spacecraft in a safe mode, thereby enabling engineers to conduct comprehensive investigations and diagnose issues, remarkably remained dormant. Voyager 1, intriguingly, continued its mission activities without any trigger for a protective shutdown, thereby adding yet another layer of complexity to this mysterious episode. Following a meticulous and thorough investigation, the root of the anomaly was conclusively traced back to the altitude an Articulation Control Subsystem, AACS, which bears the critical responsibility of precisely orienting the spacecraft and managing its intricate movements. The puzzling revelation was that the AACS had been unintentionally transmitting telemetry data through an onboard computer that had ceased to function many years ago. This outdated dormant computer, which should have had no role in data processing, inexplicably became intertwined with the telemetry transmission process. 
leading to the unfortunate corruption of information being relayed back to Earth. The paramount question that loomed large was whether there truly existed a swarm of 500 objects that had triggered Voyager 1's perception of a potential threat. Confirmation of this intriguing discovery remained elusive until the time-consuming anomaly could be satisfactorily resolved. The ingenious solution to this enigma ultimately involved the issuance of instructions to the AACS, directing it to redirect telemetry data to the appropriate, fully operational computer system. This corrective measure was deemed to carry minimal risk and was subsequently executed with precision and success. Nonetheless, the investigation into this anomaly posed a substantial and unique challenge, primarily due to the vast time delay in communication an inevitable consequence of Voyager 1's staggering distance from Earth. After its extraordinary interstellar journey, the spacecraft now resides at an astonishing distance of approximately 14.6 billion miles from our home planet. Consequently, radio signals transmitted to and from the spacecraft traverse an expanse of space so immense that they require a considerable amount of time to complete their journey. This temporal chasm in communication presented a profound challenge for the mission team. Their tasks demanded meticulous planning, cautious execution of commands, and the patient endurance of lengthy periods before receiving any feedback or confirmation from Voyager 1. This peculiarity in the communication process significantly extended the timeline for diagnostic and troubleshooting efforts. Each message transmitted to the spacecraft, although subject to the arduous constraints of time, held the potential to unravel the mysteries of space and deepen our understanding of the cosmos. Communicating with the Voyager When NASA's Deep Space Network DSN team sends a command to Voyager 1, it travels as a radio signal at the blazing speed of light. The Deep Space Network is a sprawling network of colossal radio antennas strategically positioned across the globe. Its purpose is to establish vital communication links with spacecraft exploring the far reaches of our solar system and beyond. It plays a crucial role in enabling two-way communication between Earth and deep space missions and conducts radar and radio astronomy observations to enhance our understanding of the universe. This international network collaborates with various space agencies, including the Soviet, Chinese, Indian, and Japanese deep space networks, as well as the European Space Agency's ESA tracking system. By working together, these agencies create a unified and cooperative effort to explore and investigate the mysteries of space. The DSN consists of three deep space communication facilities situated approximately 120 degrees apart. These locations include Goldstone in California's Mojave Desert, Madrid in Spain, and Canberra in Australia. This strategic positioning ensures continuous coverage and observation of spacecraft as the Earth rotates, making the DSN the largest and most advanced scientific telecommunication system worldwide. Operating on the principles of radio wave transmission, the DSN communicates with spacecraft using its colossal antennas. These antennas are responsible for sending and receiving radio waves, establishing a vital link between Earth and the distant probes. When transmitting data from the spacecraft to Earth, Deep Space Network Channel 18 is typically utilized, employing frequencies of either 2.3 GHz or 8.4 GHz. Through its observations, scientists gain deep insights into the composition and unique characteristics of interstellar dust particles and other celestial entities, enriching our understanding of the cosmos. Complementing these instruments is the Plasma Science Instrument, which delves into the properties of charged particles known as plasma. This specialized instrument provides invaluable data pertaining to the density, temperature, and velocity of these charged particles offering profound insights into the dynamic nature of plasma within the interstellar medium. In essence, Voyager 1's extensive array of scientific instruments is poised to unlock the mysteries of any potential encounter with extraterrestrial civilizations should such an extraordinary event have occurred. Moreover, in Voyager 1's arsenal of scientific instruments, we find the low-energy charged particle instrument tasked with the meticulous study of the composition an energy distribution of low-energy charged particles encompassing electrons and ions. This in-depth examination yields invaluable insights into the origins of these particles and the intricate mechanisms propelling their acceleration across the vast expanses of space. Extending our exploration further, we encounter the plasma wave subsystem, 
an instrument designed to detect and analyze naturally occurring radio and plasma waves. Through its capabilities, scientists gain the means to investigate the properties of the interstellar medium and delve into the intricate dance between the solar wind and its cosmic surroundings. Venturing into the spectrum of light, Voyager 1 carries the ultraviolet spectrometer, a device dedicated to the meticulous measurement of the intensity of ultraviolet light emanating from various celestial objects. This enables the spacecraft to conduct a comprehensive examination of the composition and physical properties of gases within the interstellar medium. The infrared radiometer, a valued companion in this cosmic journey, contributes by analyzing the thermal emissions of encountered objects. This analysis unveils essential insights into the temperatures and thermal characteristics of these cosmic entities. In tandem with the infrared radiometer is the interferometer, which scrutinizes the interference patterns of infrared light, further enriching the scientific treasure trove of data gathered during this extraordinary voyage of exploration. This intricate suite of scientific instruments equips Voyager 1 with the capabilities needed to scrutinize the composition and physical properties of gases and particles it encounters during its cosmic odyssey. By unraveling the intricate details of the interstellar medium, scientists gain invaluable insights into the cosmos. Complementing this comprehensive instrument suite is the spectrometer, which collaborates seamlessly with the iris. This remarkable instrument assumes the pivotal role of studying the composition of gases and particles by meticulously measuring the absorption and emission of light at specific wavelengths. In doing so, it provides essential clues regarding the chemical makeup of the interstellar medium, thereby enriching our comprehensive understanding of the cosmos. While these dedicated scientific instruments diligently collect data, the high-gain antenna serves as the communication lifeline, ensuring that their findings are efficiently transmitted back to Earth with a robust and unwavering signal. This antenna plays a pivotal role in facilitating continuous and effective communication between Voyager 1 and Mission Control, enabling us to receive the invaluable treasure trove of knowledge amassed by these instruments. Indeed, the wealth of data accumulated has proven to be a veritable treasure trove. Voyager 1, alongside its companion Voyager 2, delivered a historic breakthrough in 1993 when they provided the first direct evidence of the heliopause, a momentous discovery. It's certainly intriguing to consider the possibility that Voyager the 1st of May have gathered data about an alien planet and extraterrestrial beings during its remarkable journey. The notion that the data it transmitted wasn't a mere malfunction but rather details about 500 objects previously unknown is a captivating one. Voyager has already contributed significantly to our understanding of the cosmos, so it wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility for it to play a role in confirming the existence of alien life. As for whether NASA would announce such a groundbreaking discovery, that remains uncertain. The scientific community would likely conduct a thorough analysis of the data to ascertain its authenticity and significance before making any official announcements. Ultimately, we'll have to patiently await the scientists' findings and rely on their expertise to determine the nature of this anomaly. If you enjoyed this video, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more captivating content. Stay tuned for future updates, and as always, thank you for joining us on this exploration of the unknown.